Good morning, students. Today, we're going to read a book called I Know Why I Brush My Teeth. This book was written by Kate Rowan and illustrated by Katherine McEwen. Oh, at the top it says Sam's Science. Maybe this is Sam. He's going to tell us why we should brush our teeth. I Know Why I Brush My Teeth by Kate Rowan. Mom, yelled Sam, come here, quick. What is it, Sam, asked Mom. Aren't you ready for your bath yet? Look, said Sam proudly, I have a wiggly tooth. Hmm, said Mom, peering into his mouth, so you do. That means it's going to fall out, doesn't it, said Sam. A big tooth is starting to push the baby tooth out of the way. That's what the dentist said. So here, I can see a diagram. It has labels and arrows to help us understand. This says baby tooth. So this little white shape right here is supposed to be the baby tooth. This says jawbone. So everything in here that's yellow and tan is the jawbone. Here it says gum. So there's his gums, that pink. This label says big tooth with an arrow down here. So here is the adult tooth and it's starting to come in, and as it comes in, it pushes, and the baby tooth has to get out of the way. That's right, Mom said, passing Sam his toothbrush and toothpaste, but not for a few days yet, so let's give those teeth a really good brushing. Sam frowned, or Mom frowned. Sam, that's too much toothpaste. Remember what the dentist said? I know, I know, said Sam. Only use a pea-sized drop of toothpaste because it has floor stuff in it, and I only need a little of the floor stuff. You mean fluoride, said Mom. So here's the dentist showing him how much toothpaste should be on your toothbrush. They call it a pea-sized amount because it's like one of those, uh, the size of the vegetable that you would eat. Just a drop or two. You mean fluoride, said Mom. Yeah, said Sam. What's the floor stuff for, anyway? Fluoride helps to keep your teeth strong, explained Mom. I have strong teeth, Sam said, and I don't have any holes in them. Jody in my class has holes. Her mom says it's because she eats too much candy. I suppose it is, said Mom. Poor Judy. It's not just candy that gives you holes, though. Sugary drinks and snacks between meals aren't good for your teeth either, especially if you don't clean them often enough. That's why you should brush your teeth correctly at least twice a day. I know what the right way is, Sam said. The dentist showed me. Open wide and scrub back and forth along the tops and insides. Then put your teeth together and go around and around on the outsides. Look, I'll show you. Perfect, said Mom. Don't forget to rinse your mouth out with clean water when you're done. Sam peered at his teeth in the mirror. Why does brushing stop the holes? Because little bits of food stick to your teeth when you eat, said Mom. If you don't brush them away, germs called bacteria get to work on them, and they form gooey stuff that builds up on your teeth. The gooey stuff's called plaque explained Mom, and the bacteria in the plaque feed on the sugar in the food bits. This makes a very strong liquid called acid, which eats into the outside of your teeth and makes holes in them. Oh, said Sam as he climbed into the bathtub. Do teeth have an outside and an inside? Yes, they do, said Mom. The shiny white stuff on the outside is called enamel. And it's really hard, like armor. In fact, enamel is the hardest thing in your whole body. What's more, she added, underneath the enamel, there's bony stuff called dentin. And inside that, there's pulp. There's our label for pulp and our arrow that points to it. There's the pulp. So on the outside, there's shiny white stuff called enamel, very strong. Inside, there's dentin. And then inside that, there's pulp. 
pulp is soft and squishy, and it has lots of tiny blood vessels and things called nerves in it. I know about nerves, Sam said. When I touch something, they tell me if it's hot or cold. That's one of the things they do, said Mom. Nerves tell you when something's hurting you, too, like that time I had a hole in one of my teeth and I had a toothache. Sam made a face. Yuck. I hope I never have a toothache. Mom smiled. I hope you don't either, but that's why it's so important to take care of your teeth. You'll only grow one set of big teeth, and they'll have to last you the rest of your life. Will all my baby teeth fall out now? asked Sam. They will, said Mom, but not all at once. You have 20 baby teeth all together, and they'll come out one at a time over the next few years. I know why they're called baby teeth, Sam said. It's because they started growing when I was a baby. But I'm not a baby anymore, am I? That's why my big teeth are coming in. That's right, said Mom. You'll get 32 big teeth, and you'll have most of them by the time you're 13. But you won't get the very last ones, your wisdom teeth, until you're a little older. Sam nodded. When I'm all grown up, you mean. Why are they called wisdom teeth? Sam asked. Because you'll be older and wiser by the time you get them, said Mom. Your other teeth have names too, you know. They do? asked Sam. Like what? Four incisors in the middle, top and bottom. You have two molars on each side, top and bottom, and one canine on each side, top and bottom. So eight incisors plus eight molars plus four canines equals 20 baby teeth. Sam put on his pajamas. Are the dog teeth called that because dogs have them too? I think that must be why, Mom said. Canine is just another way of saying dog. Oh, said Sam. Well, I know an animal that has hundreds of teeth. Mom laughed. You do? What is it? A shark, yelled Sam. It certainly does, said Mom. Or at least some kinds of sharks do. And guess what, Mom went on. They're always losing their teeth when they chomp on their food, but they keep on growing new ones all through their lives. Well, I'm not going to lose any of my big teeth when I get them, Sam said firmly. Good, said Mom. Then you'll grow up to have beautiful, strong ones. Sam grinned. All the better to eat you with. Shark attack. Wow, Sam drew a picture and labeled it to tell us everything that he learned about teeth. He drew a picture of his own mouth and he labeled his incisor teeth. He labeled his molar teeth and he labeled his canine teeth. Then he zoomed in and drew a great big picture of a tooth so that we could see all the parts really well. And he labeled the enamel at the top, the shiny white stuff at the top. He labeled the dentin underneath and he used yellow to color that in. And then he knew that inside of that was the squishy part full of nerves called pulp. He wrote a label and drew an arrow to each of the parts to help us understand. That was so nice of Sam. I hope you learned a lot about teeth and why you should brush them and how to take care of them. Thank you for reading with me today. Do you know what the topic of this book was? Remember, the main topic is what the book is all about. Every page on this book was about teeth. So the topic of this book is teeth. Can you list four or five key details across your fingers about our topic? Something that you learned about teeth. 